Hey there, this is Veena from Patty Cake, the channel that's about baking and much, much more. A warm welcome to my channel. Let's make a colorful and delicious Greek pasta salad. It has a delightful crunch and a refreshing taste. And though it takes just a few minutes to make, it's one of those cold salads you could make even a day or two in advance and enjoy or serve it later. Today's pasta salad has the perfect combination of fresh vegetables and a tasty dressing. Moreover, I'm going to show you how to make an easy homemade Greek dressing where you could substitute some of the Greek ingredients with what you have at home. I assure you, you love this salad. So let's start making it right here at Pat Cake. This is 150 grams of elbow pasta or macaroni. You could use any variety of pasta of your choice. I've already boiled this in plenty of water to which I had added 1 teaspoon of salt for flavor. I boiled it for around 6 minutes until it was almost done. I've emptied the boiled pasta to a colander and will now refresh it with cold drinking water to keep it from clumping together. That done, let's chop some vegetables. I've already cut a medium-sized red onion into quarters and then sliced it. I've also cut a medium-sized capsicum into small squares like this. Here I have half of a large cucumber. Let's de-seed and chop it into small pieces. We'll also chop some tomatoes. But since the traditional cherry tomatoes, which are very sweet and juicy, were not available in my neighborhood vegetable market, I'm using a local variety of smaller tomatoes, which also happen to be nice and sweet. These weigh 150 grams. If you're using cherry tomatoes, chop each of them into two pieces. But if you're using your locally available tomatoes, cut them into small pieces like this. Our next ingredient, olives, is an essential one and there can be no substitute for this. However, instead of the traditional Kalamata olives that are larger in size and have a brownish color, you could use green or black olives that are easily available online. And they are not costly at all. So I urge you, when you make Greek pasta salad, don't leave out the olives for they lend an authentic taste to this dish. I'm using a quarter cup of black olives. Let's slice them into circles like this. Now let's chop a few fronds of dill or shepu as it's called in Marathi. I've already washed these in plenty of water. We need to break off the tough stems. And then, chop just the tender stems and leaves. If you can't find dill in your vegetable market, then use chopped coriander leaves or even mint or pudina leaves. In a traditional Greek salad, feta cheese, cheese made from goat's milk, is used. But we'll use paneer. This slab weighs 100 grams. Let's chop it into cubes. And now it's time to prepare the salad dressing. To this bowl, I'll add a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Instead of this, you could use any refined oil without a strong smell. Let's also add one and a half to two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. This vinegar is made from grapes and is slightly sweet, but you could use any vinegar you have at home, palm vinegar, balsamic vinegar, or even synthetic white vinegar. And this is one tablespoon of lime juice. You could use lemon juice instead. 
Next, we have to add half a teaspoon of mustard paste, which I don't have. You could also add Dijon mustard instead. But what I am going to use is half a teaspoon of ground regular mustard seeds. I ground this using a pestle and mortar. After that, let's add a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one clove of crushed garlic, and 1 teaspoon of oregano. If you don't have this, you could use mixed herbs or 1 tablespoon of finely chopped mint. Now let's whisk the dressing well. And that brings us to the last step in this recipe. Pouring this dressing over the pasta and vegetables and giving everything a good toss. We'll first transfer the pasta to a large bowl and then add the vegetables one by one in any order. To add a small Indian touch to the salad, you could also add one small finely chopped green chilli. And we'll also add half a teaspoon of ground pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. If you're using regular tomatoes and they're not too sweet, at this stage, you could add 2 teaspoons of sugar. Now, if you're going to have or serve the salad right after chilling it, then add in the paneer cubes too. But if you're going to have the salad the next day, then hold on to the paneer and toss it in just before serving the salad. Let's finally pour in the dressing. And then gently mix all the ingredients so that each of them is well coated with the dressing. Time to sample the pasta salad. It tastes simply delicious. No adjustments necessary. We'll now have to chill the salad for at least an hour to give the vegetables and paneer time to absorb all the flavors of the dressing. And here it is, a refreshing, flavor-packed salad. I'm a big fan of Greek pasta salad. When we finish enjoying a huge bowl of this at home, I always feel tempted to make it again, soon. I'm telling you, this salad is worth checking out. So go ahead and make it at home, okay? But before that, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. I'll see you in my next one. And till then, happy cooking!